You will stop daydreaming and learn to code. That is what the online coding school Code Academy says. It will help you accomplish. Joining us right now is the co-founder and CEO of Code Academy, Zach Sims, uh, with Anthony Scaramucci as well. It's good to see you, Zach. Thanks Thank so you much for having. joining us. Big news in your company. You just raised more money. Absolutely. Just tell us about it. Sure. Just raised another thirty million dollars from NASPERS to basically think about our growth internationally and teach more people the skills they need to find jobs. So ha explain how Code Academy. Uh, 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 teaches folks to code and why is coding important? So we teach people kind of interactively and in a super hands-on engaging way to build real projects and then to learn skills that end up getting them jobs. Uh, coding is important because it is the skill of the future. In fact, your son just took a coding yeah, class, so, right? So my son is actually taking a, a class right now uh, because he left Google, said that he couldn't get anywhere at Google as a salesperson needed coding. Are you finding that from a lot of your students? Absolutely. I think we find that more of our students actually aren't specifically learning to become engineers, but learning skills that can help augment whatever it else it is that they're so interested do, in doing. So do Maria and I need to take a coding course, Zach? Always. I, I think we do. Because, yeah. it, you know, for a long time it was young people and technology people really, like tech geeks, like call them but today you're seeing a broader array of industries require some form of understanding coding absolutely I think as we see everything from you know finance to any other industry kind of become more algorithmically oriented everyone needs to learn kind of the basics of how this all works. explain what coding is yeah. what's so, the language now yeah which what do you what's the computer language so it depends specifically on what people are learning to do we see a lot of people interested in learning mobile languages like Swift or people interested in learning things like Ruby and Python to build for the web so you've got 25 million people who've taken courses on the website already, while 16 million are registered users. Where do you see this going? Do you need to raise more money? I think, you know, this will be enough to take us to profitability. And so what we're trying to do is, again, kind of build the world's largest platform uh, that helps people with jobs. And I think it's a different type of education. And this hopefully uh, will help us make that a profitable and sustainable what you, business. What do you charge, Zach, to a student? So uh, a lot of our students learn for free, and then a small number of them learn for $20 a month. $20 a month. How do you monetize the business on $20 a month? Uh, with a lot of students. Yeah, so that's, that's the goal, just expand the actual population of students. So are employers taking Code Academy as a good uh, accreditation? Uh, for learning? Absolutely. We've started to see people that have gotten jobs through Code Academy and then go back and try to hire people that are like them and have learned the same way. So already kind of seeing a network effect with employers. So what industries do you think is, is coding most relevant for? I think obviously uh, kind of every industry is becoming more of a technology industry. You know, I mentioned finance before. I think we're seeing everything from agriculture to law change where things like e-discovery are becoming popular uh, in the legal field where there's now ways for farmers to optimize their farms using algorithms. So I think really every industry uh, is one that can be revolutionary. Yeah, it's interesting because you look at, for example, you know, one of the traditional, you know, manufacturing business, the auto business. It's totally technology based today. Yep. I think we look at, you know, companies like GM that have bought uh, companies like Cruise for a billion dollars to think about kind of self-driving cars and AI, uh, and that's what's going to happen to every industry. Wow, really good stuff. I yeah. just hope I don't get automated out, Zach. That's all. <laughs> I yeah. don't want to be automated out. Well, well this, is, this is the issue that we keep coming upon, that, that the skill sets are not there. Employers want to hire people, but they can't find the people that have the skill set that they need. Five and that million includes open code. jobs in the economy right. right now due to lack of technical skills. Absolutely. And I think you know, that's something that traditional schools and universities are not solving. So people need to find another way. Mm -hmm. Zach, great stuff. Congratulations to you. We'll be watching the developments Thanks. at Code Academy. Check it out, Code Academy. He's 17 uh, years old. Zach no, no, I'm Sims. kidding. <laughs> you did start this when you were younger. So. 21, yeah. 21, and yeah. now you are not. 26. You are 26. There you go. So you are uh, what we call the hot millennials <laughs> that everybody's trying to reach. Zach Sims there.